as we all know by now, we tragically lost our beautiful friend, Mel Thompson. I wanna start this off by saying that my prayers go out to her husband, her children, her mother, her family, her best friend, Kelsey. I mean, those two are like sisters. Her sweet little dog, Charlie, uh, he never left her side. Charlie was with her every time we communicated back and forth on Marco. Charlie was always right there with her. So my prayers go out to her family and those that love her. And this is going to be a very, very difficult time for them. And they just need our love and our respect and our prayers and our positive thoughts sent their way. As we all know, Mel has been sick for a while and she has shared some of her struggle on her channel. She fought hard and she had such a will to live. Right now, it's not about how or why. Right now, it's about celebrating her and who she was to us, how much she meant to all of us. And um, I am just turning on the camera because I know, like me, so many of you out there love Mel and you're all struggling with this loss. I actually had a video, a sponsored video that was supposed to go up today and I contacted my partner and said, look, you know, I just lost my friend. Can can I not put this video up for a minute? I contacted them, they were great about it. So uh, it was my September favorites video. I had filmed it before I knew about Mel's passing. So I knew it was, um, I knew I couldn't let that video go up yet. I just, I couldn't do it. So I'm thinking I'll probably put that video up on Saturday. I have so many products that have been delivered. I have the new Pat McGrath palette. I have the new Charlotte Tilbury palette. I have the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. There's just so many new things coming and I just could not review any of them until I honored Mel. I know that so many of you out there are hurting just like I am. And Mel was so special to each and every one of us. I wanna celebrate her. I want everyone to, to have a place where they can just share how Mel impacted their life. Mel and I have been friends for a while and um, I had lost my grandfather who was my rock and my world and um, she was there for me and she was going through things and we just connected on such a, a deep level. Mel was probably the most compassionate person I've ever known in my life. She believed in me so much and she was always there to help me and I'm so grateful that I had an opportunity to have a friend like Mel. You know, Teresa from Teresa's Dead, she is one of my dear friends as well and um, Teresa and I have so, said this so many times that that Mel is like the best, most kindest person we've ever known. I've never heard Mel say anything negative about anyone. She was one of those that even if even if it was warranted, like even if it was warranted, she'd say, well, you know, I'm not, she just, she had this heart and this soul that was so incredibly special. My daughter has had some struggles in the last year and I opened up to Mel and, and was explaining to her some of the things that my daughter was struggling with. And I should not have started this without tissue. I really wanted to film this without crying. Um. <laughs> just is what it is, you know? You can't help it. Mel helped me and my daughter so much. And the advice that Mel gave us um, has now allowed my daughter to blossom and go to college. We did, so The advice that Mel gave us was just nothing we ever thought of. We never even thought about it. And, and no other doctor had mentioned it. And so when Mel had told me, you know, Tara, this is, this is this, this, and this, and you know, I'm no doctor, but this helped me. You might want to check. And I will always be grateful to Mel for that. I can't tell you how shocked I was when I saw her post that Instagram post of a giveaway 
to help me reach 10,000 on Instagram. And it was so crazy because I just said it kind of like, we were talking and I said, yeah, I said, you know, I really need to get my butt to work. I would really like to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram. It's like a goal. I, and I just, I was being like, kind of funny. Like I really need to get my butt in gear. And the very next day she posted that post on Instagram. <laughs> I've just, you know, here's the thing you guys said for me, I've had a lot of friends in my life and I've had a lot of friends hurt me very deeply. And I know this sounds really crazy, but I never had real friends until I came onto this YouTube platform. My first friend was Teresa from Teresa's Dead. She's one of my best friends. And Jennifer Joyce Beauty has been one of my dear, dear friends. And then sweet, sweet Mel. And the one thing that I want people to know about her is that no matter what she was going through, and I think everyone who loved her could say this, no matter what she was going through in her life, she was so strong. She was the strongest person I've ever known. You know, there there's something to be said about all that she's been through. She was still able to turn that camera on and do what she loved. And as a beauty community, we need to rally around Kelsey right now because Kelsey lost a sister. We need to rally around Kelsey as a community and just show her our love. So many of my viewers, I know many of you either found me through Mel or uh, we share a lot of subscribers. And I know that our community is hurting right now. I've read so many stories from people saying that um, she was there for them in a very dark place in their life and that her videos were an escape um, from something that they were going through. And they're just so beautiful to read. I will forever miss her. I can't really watch her videos just quite yet, especially her last video because when her last video went up without a thumbnail and the way that the title was written and she didn't have a description box, I knew something was wrong. That was when I knew something was wrong with Mel because I know that she um, created that content to send to Wayne. And probably during that time, she decided to go ahead and edit it. And then she probably scheduled it to go live after his video went up and never got back to change the thumbnail or the title or anything. If you look at the title, the title is a title that you would use during edit mode. Um, you know, when you're editing this content and putting it on a computer, um, you use titles that you eventually change once it goes up on, you know, up live on the platform. And I knew something was wrong. And then I reached out to her and I didn't hear anything back. And when I didn't hear anything back, I got really, really worried. And sadly, I text Kelsey, sweet Kelsey. She has an, another new number that I didn't know about. And so I text Kelsey and I didn't hear back from her. And I'm like, oh my gosh, something is wrong. And then the next morning I got the, the text from Puffin for her to schedule that video to go up after his announcement. And to know that that was the last video that she would upload is such a tribute to how much she loved and supported Wayne. She loved Wayne and she was his biggest fan. It's very special. When people pass away, you always say they were just such a beautiful person. I am here to tell you right now, out of everybody I've ever known, Mel is the kindest, most gentle, loving soul I've ever known in my life. I'm just gonna forever miss her. And I couldn't continue on with my channel without sharing my love for Mel here and addressing our loss that we just recently had in this community. And I just hope from this point that her memory will live on through all of us. I will never forget the impact that she has had on my life. This is just for us. This video is for all of you out there that are hurting like I am and are feeling such a sense of sadness and loss. And I just want it to be a place where we can 
share our feelings about Mel and what she meant to us and just have a place to put it, right? Just share your love for Mel in the comment section down below. Let's just, let's just celebrate her and who she was in our lives and what she meant to each and every one of us. That's it for the video. I'm gonna end it here and I'm just gonna have some beautiful pictures of her and her beautiful family. <laughs> and I love you all so much.